in the United States, big business is how we do things. There's something in the human animal that says, if I can make a gallon, wow, maybe I could make a hundred gallons. If I can make a hundred gallons, I, I can make a million gallons. If I can, if I can make a million, I can make a hundred million gallons. When I go to and have a meeting, I'll usually ask the question, can you tell me without looking the country of origin shirt you're wearing today? I've probably asked that question 150 times. I've got probably less than 10 answers. Someone managed to put it in our heads that big is better and the economies of scale are what can drive uh, pricing down. And at the end of the day, it is exactly that that's driving us into environmental ruin. When you buy that apparel product in Bangladesh, yeah, the price itself is cheaper, but really what's the total impact of what you're doing there? What's the real cost of cheap? One of the ways that small business can make a difference is by educating people, in our case, to what's happening to food, to what's happening to seed, and to be aware. Yes, our t-shirts cost more because where they're made and how they're made, but there are people who understand there's a value beyond price. What's the social impact and what's the environmental impact? The biggest resource that we have left is conservation. And we have to get after conservation. We've got to start mining at that resource as fast as possible. The good news is that we've got it. Following our philosophy, that is to say, knowing that food is actually in some danger and acting on that does in fact translate into good business. The way we're going to make it a better place for everybody, we all got to participate. It's not the materialistic things in life that make us happy. And there's more to life and business and community than money.